Would you like to know what is a cloud engineer and what does a cloud engineer do? If so, this video is for you. Do you want to become a cloud engineer? If so, join our brand new cloud engineer career development program and get cloud hired. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs and I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Careers. And we're an organization that's dedicated towards building the most high performance cloud computing careers. Personally, I've been working in technology for over 25 years now, and I've been helping others get their first tech job or get promoted in tech for more than two decades. And I want to help you build your best cloud computing career and get cloud hired. Today, we're going to talk about the cloud engineer career and the cloud engineer career is one of our favorite tech jobs for the future. Why? Well, there is an extreme shortage of cloud engineers, which means plenty of opportunities for cloud engineering jobs. And since the cloud engineering job is so critical, it's also a high paying career. In fact, the average cloud engineer salary in the US is $133,000. So that's a relatively good salary. And this includes the average cloud engineer base salary of $123,000 with an average bonus of $10,500. And this is according to indeed.com. So this is very current up-to-date salary information. Now let's discuss the cloud engineer career. So what is a cloud engineer and what actually do they do? Well, the cloud engineer is kind of the new version of the network and the data center engineer. So what does a cloud engineer actually do? Well, see, a cloud engineer actually builds and deploys customer solutions on the cloud. Public clouds such as AWS, Azure, or Google, or private clouds such as OpenStack or Nutanix. So when we say cloud engineers build and deploy solutions on the cloud, what solutions are we referring to? Well, Network and data center solutions. This includes networking, security, virtual machines, containers, storage, load balancers, databases, firewalls, VPN concentrators, and IDS IPS systems or intrusion detection and intrusion prevention systems. So we're dealing with a lot of technology. In fact, we're dealing with all the technology in the network and the data center. So to build an excellent cloud engineer, a cloud engineer that will have a great career, they need to learn the network and the data center. So simply put, I like to say the cloud is just renting somebody else's network and data center and that a cloud engineer deploys these systems in somebody else's data center. Now that you know what a cloud engineer does, how do you become a cloud engineer? Well, certification training is just not going to cut it. And here's the reason. The cloud engineer is a professional career. It's not a technician and a professional career like the cloud engineer career requires deep, substantial knowledge. See, certification is fine for preparing for entry level or junior level roles where all you do is configure. But a cloud engineer needs career development or professional development. See, for cloud engineers, it's not just about the how, how to configure something. I mean, that's technician work. For the cloud engineer, it's about why we are configuring something. Should we use this service or not use this service? What are the best alternatives to this technology? If we do X, what is the impact on why? So see, this is a deep, deep, deep knowledge job. And these skills, what we do here, how that impacts somewhere else, that is not covered in certification. Certification simply is, here's the name of a service and how to configure it. So the cloud engineer is a professional. That means they need a common body of knowledge, like all professionals. Doctors have a common body of knowledge. Lawyers have a common body of knowledge, and so does the cloud engineer. So. What is this body of knowledge? Well, we're going to give you the main keys of a cloud engineering career. The cloud engineer must have good knowledge of networking. At minimum, what does this mean? IP addressing, subnetting, supernetting, DNS, DHCP, ARP, proxy ARP, network address translation, VLANs, VLAN tagging, VLAN trunking, quality of service, BGP, and other interior gateway protocols such as OSPF, WAN technology such as private lines, IPsec VPN, software defined networking, at minimum. These are the minimum things from the networking side that the cloud engineer must know. Now, how about the data center? At minimum, the cloud engineer needs a good understanding of virtual machines and containers and container orchestration, various types of storage area networks such as block storage, file storage, object storage, file sharing protocols such as server message block or the network file system, load balancers, even how to stack load balance. So these are some of the data center things at minimum that the good competent cloud engineer will need to know. How about security? Well, the cloud engineer must know how to use 
enterprise grade firewalls, intrusion detection, intrusion prevention systems, VPN concentrators for remote access, understanding of security policies, host based firewalls, anti malware solutions, how to harden systems, no authentication systems such as Radius or Active Directory for authentication, authorization, accounting, or identity and access management, whichever term you want to talk to it. Now, the cloud engineer needs to really know Linux. See, nearly all critical servers on the internet are on Linux, and the cloud engineer must be an expert with Linux as they will be using Linux every day. The cloud engineer will be administering Linux. They'll be doing Linux engineering. They'll be working on Linux servers, Linux automation. Now, since the cloud engineer is a builder, you know, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in the background and the need to automate some of those things is there. So the cloud engineer is going to be doing a lot of coding or scripting specifically with Python scripts and bash shell scripts in the Linux Unix environment. And the cloud engineer, because they're going to be building and deploying things will also get involved in infrastructure as code. So for cloud engineers, you know, Terraform is almost becoming an essential skill set for the cloud engineer. Now that you know what does a cloud engineer do, do and you know the things you learn to become a cloud engineer let's talk about this wonderful cloud engineer career and how you get the experience to get yourself your first cloud engineering job see we love the cloud engineer career because it's a growing career pays well and it has incredible career options with plenty of opportunity to advance in the future now when it comes to getting that first job if you don't have experience, we want to create the illusion of experience. So here's what that means. Get some experience. Now, I'm not saying get a job to get experience. You can get the experience on your own and you're going to get it by doing a lot of labs. Now, real labs, not e-course labs. For example, the students in our cloud engineer career development program do these kinds of labs. For example, in addition to the cloud labs that everybody does, we make every one of our cloud engineering students build a cloud from scratch, set up Active Directory servers, set up server virtualizations and containers. Why? Because they make the cloud possible. We have our students build the cloud and federate that cloud with an Active Directory server. And you should do these things, but also set up a hybrid cloud like an OpenStack cloud or a Nutanix cloud. Set up a hybrid multi-cloud, set up a multi-cloud solution. I mean, really get hands-on, build, build, build. Learn how the clouds are orchestrated, meaning learning the control plane of the cloud, learn the data plane of the cloud, learn how the cloud fails, so you know how to design around cloud failures. So, you know, this is part of it, but don't just learn the tech if you want to be a great cloud engineer and have a great cloud engineer career. Especially if you really want to advance in your career, learn some critical skills. Remember that cloud engineer is a professional, they are not a technician. And as professionals, they will benefit in learning business skills like business acumen, soft skills, emotional intelligence, leadership skills, presentation skills, etc. These skills will get you paid more as a cloud engineer, increase your likability and help you get hired and get you promoted more. So the key to building a really good cloud engineer career is as follows. Master the tech and the non-tech systems. See, now you know how to become a great cloud engineer Go get the right skills and get yourself cloud hired. This is Michael Gibbs. I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Careers, and I want to help you build your best cloud engineering career. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Take care. It was so nice having you join us for this video today. Let me tell you about some free services we do for the cloud community. We have a free how to get your first cloud architect job webinar, where we tell you all the things you need to do and know to get your first cloud architect job. In addition to that, we actually have a free question and answer session on live on YouTube, where you can come and ask us any questions you want about building your career related to cloud computing or networking, and we'll answer them in real time for you because we want to get you to your goals. Several more times per week, we have guests from industry, industry experts that I've known for decades that are movers and shakers that have changed the world that can give you information so you can build the best career. I invite them periodically. They are on my show. If there's a chance to do some free training on our channel, we'll do it live because we want you to all to have the best skills for the best career. So please subscribe and hit the bell. I look forward to seeing you and I look forward to assisting you in your technology career. Thank you so much. This is Michael Gibbs from Go Cloud Arguments.